Hey, Loom. 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 Loom, do you think we're going to make money? Loom, are we going to make money? You don't care. You like the birds, huh? Okay. So I take that back. Loom actually does think we're going to make money. Isn't that right, buddy? Isn't that right, little cutie, huh? Isn't that right? Yes. Good boy. Good boy. So just before I show you guys the haul, I just want to show you what uh, the guy essentially made me sign and um, I guess how the process went. So I bid on the items on GovDeals.com. I win the bid. Uh, I pay for the items. I just paid with my credit card. Um, as soon as you pay for the items, you get a certificate of purchase proving that you purchased the items and what you purchased. And then uh, you contact the asset, which is the person who owns or is uh, selling the items, to come and collect what you purchased. And then once you go to them and meet up with them to pick up the items, they typically have you sign something showing that you picked up the items. And uh, with GovDeals.com, they require you or someone with power of attorney to come pick up the items itself. So you can't send an employee, I don't believe. You, you yourself have to go and do it. And they asked to photocopy my driver's license, and um, yeah, that was pretty much it. So I signed these three documents. As you can see, here's the, um, you know, what what I actually purchased, the amount I paid, and right here is just, uh, you know, my signature and name, essentially, and a date that I covered up. Um, so yeah, uh, this one was twenty dollars and one cents for the various OKI data and toner. Um, the next one was twenty six seventy seven for the various Hewitt Packard toner, and the last one was fifty dollars for the various networking devices, some uh, school size networking equipment. Uh, I paid sixty dollars for the networking equipment and another sixty for the ink and toner, making it about one hundred twenty dollars. Uh, I had to drive about thirty minutes to come pick the stuff up, but. Uh, I think it's totally worth it for the 120 I spent on GovDeals.com. Uh, everything should sell for about $800, so really not a bad return if I can sell everything. And uh, I think ink always sells really well, but um, not really too much risk on this. But I'm just trying GovDeals.com GovDeals out for the first time, and uh, yeah, we'll see what we get. I'll let you know when I pick everything up, and I'll show you the haul. See you in a second. So I just pulled up to where I'm picking up the stuff. It's a special education school, getting rid of old networking equipment. Um, yeah, I guess uh, on Gov Deals, pretty much any public institution can, I guess, sell their excess stuff or whatever they don't need anymore. So we'll see what we get. Here we go. What's up? So here's the update. Uh, I called the guy I had as a contact, an asset contact on GovDeals.com. Uh, he said he's going to come open the back door here and I have to sign a few things and then I guess I can pick the stuff up. So uh, I think that's pretty much the process. You, you bid on stuff, you win, contact the person that's the asset contact and then you go schedule time to pick it up. So I'm here to do that and uh, it should go smooth. This guy seems pretty nice. Um, yeah, so I'll, I'll show you the shot of my trunk when I got everything in it. All right guys, so here's the haul. I got a bunch of OKI B6500 series uh, toners, including uh, some ones that don't just, just, uh, just don't have the boxes, but they're complete just like these. They just needed storage space. Uh, I got a bunch of HP ink, and the guy actually threw in uh, a few additional OKI toners and a, a small box of ink, so that was really nice of him. Um, pretty much the stuff is just going to get thrown out by public schools, so they just want to auction it off and, and get rid of it and get some money back for the schools. And it's not really worth their time to sell individually, so someone like me comes in and buys what they can and makes what they can. So I got a whole bunch of toner and ink, uh, HP and OKI, and then I got, you can't really see, but a few networking, fairly expensive networking devices there. They range for, you know, a $100 to $200 each. So a pretty good haul. I paid $160 for everything you see here. Uh, $120 actually, excuse me. And uh, 
Oh yeah, I should do well on it. I should uh, net about $500, $600, maybe a little bit more. And uh, it's hard work, it's sweat equity, but the money's there if you look for it. And uh, so far I feel pretty good about my first GovDeals.com purchase. And uh, when stuff starts selling, I'll let you guys know and we'll see how I actually do on it. And uh, I'll, I'll lay it all out and take an inventory when I get home and, and let you know actually what I got. So on the next step, I'll show you that. All right guys, so I finally made it home and I'm gonna show you the haul. I got some pretty good stuff. Uh, again, I spent $120 on everything you see here and I should be able to net about five or 600 once everything sells. So uh, we'll get right into it and show you what I got. So starting out, got a bunch of HP uh, laser jet toners and inks so I have three C9721A HP laser jet series ink um, each one of these are going for about forty dollars each so if I sold all three if I sold four of these essentially I'd be breaking even um, they could go for more they could go for less I'm just saying forty dollars the average price but uh, that's kind of very conservative um, I try to price everything conservatively when I buy and sell just because that's how you should do it. If there's extra meat on the bone, there is, but you should always price towards the lower end when you're buying just to, to be safe. So I got the three cyan ones. I have one black, one yellow, and one magenta, and then one 96A, which I believe is similar to this, but I'm not sure. So we'll say about $40 each for these, so 40 times 7, you're looking at $280 gross maybe 200 net hey loom um next up we have the oki toner that i purchased so this is actually what i purchased right here these four units and the bag which also has another four this is all oki b6500 series ink toner cartridges um these are going for about 40 to 60 dollars each i'll say 40 again so another eight times four that's 320 bucks gross about 200 net and again these are conservative numbers so he threw this one in i'm just going to say that's going to sell for 20 bucks probably will sell for more but um yeah so we're looking at about 320 gross here and about 280 gross here uh the guy was really nice um he threw in two other ink things. Oh, I can't even use my fingers. Two other ink things. He threw in a box of HP 56 black sealed inks. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six boxes of four inks. He threw those in for, for free, actually. He forgot to put those in the listing. And he said, you know what? You can just take them. I should have listed them with it. So I don't even look what these are going for. I'll say at least $10 per ink. So we're talking about um, six times four. There's six of these, there's four in each one. We're talking about, let's see. Forty, eighty, one twenty, one sixty, two hundred. We're talking about two hundred forty dollars that he just gave me essentially. And this is really convenient because I can list these as individual items and uh, one listing for quite a number of inks makes it really easy to sell so that's really nice he threw that in for free and he also threw in this oki uh toner and ink as well this entire box of it so you have black these are all black ones these are oki c330dn inks um might be a different model number but that's what they fit and then we have magenta and yellow as well so we'll say conservatively 20 dollars a piece on these so we're talking about 160 we're talking about $300 there gross so with all the ink combined you're looking at about $1,000 in ink and then we're getting to the networking stuff so $1,000 in ink I purchased for about $60 if it all sells and then I got these uh, networking devices so I got five networking devices here unfortunately they don't have the power cables he said they were all working when they were taken out of the school uh, I have no way to verify that, so I kind of took a gamble. $60 for pretty valuable networking equipment should be worth it. So starting out, we got a Cisco Systems Catalyst 3500 Series XL uh, router or networking 
hub, I don't know what you would call that exactly. And then we have the Catalyst 3750 uh, networking system there. Um, I looked these two up, I believe they're going for around $100, but I think they had cables, so we'll say 50-50, and again, I'm very conservative with my estimates, so 50-50. Then we have an HP Procurve networking by HP. Uh, this is an HP Procurve 2910AL-24G switch. Um, this one is going for a little more, I think that's about $100. Next up, we have a Cisco ASA 5510 series adaptive security appliance. I don't really know what that is. Cisco is a good brand. Uh, this stuff's typically expensive when working, so again, another $100 there. And I think the most expensive one was this one, which is a networking hub. Not entirely sure of the value, but I think when I looked up the model that he had listed, it was about $200. But I'm trying to zoom in on here, it's going to be upside down. I apologize. Now, I'm not sure if this is an individual unit. Give me one sec, I'll flip it over. Okay. So, looking at the back, it looks like there's a power supply. And I guess the networking stuff in the front. So maybe that's a, an entire networking unit there, but about $200 based on what I looked up and 50 to $100 for each of those. So. All together, everything you see here, looking at about a thousand dollars gross, probably 700 net, five to 700 net. Um, I'm taking a risk just to do a little experiment. You got to risk money to make money, and yeah, I think it's uh, going to be really fun to flip these. Some of these will be annoying to ship, the bigger ones, but um, I think it's a safe bet if you get it cheap enough and it's a good brand. So we'll see how I do, and uh, I'll probably make a follow-up video to this eventually, maybe six months from now, and just see what's sold and for how much. And uh, yeah, let me know what you think. If, you, if you've if you used GovDeals.com, uh, let me know what you bought and how well you did, uh, or if you have ever had any problems with it. Um, talking to the guy, he seems like he sold a lot of stuff on uh, GovDeals.com, and um, sounds like a lot of people are pretty flaky, but I guess that comes with the business. Uh, yeah, so please like and subscribe. Um, if you have any uh, input, please leave that in the comments. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Alright, so as you guys can see right here, uh, this is a, about a week or two after I had purchased that ink. Um, so here you can see February 7th I shipped out uh, an $800 order for... Uh, all that that box of OKI genuine toner and then uh, a few days before that I sold the um, 24 lot of that HP 56 black ink so that actually gave me a total of over a thousand dollars that day gross so I don't get too many days like that as you can see and my other days are usually like peppered in you know ten to a hundred dollars here and there but uh so that was a great sale. I turned 120 into over a thousand gross. I'll probably net about a thousand when everything's sold. Um, so I can't really complain about that. Uh, it was a great flip. And uh, yeah, just to show you that uh, I'm not talking out my ass when I talk about selling things on Gov Deals. I really do um, sell the stuff. I'm not one of those fake people. I try to give you realistic numbers, conservative numbers. So, uh, you know, you're not. You know what to expect when you try to sell stuff like this. You're not going to make a million dollars, but you, you can do okay sometimes. This was one of my, of my better flips. Um, I've only ever had one other other thousand dollar day on eBay. So it feels really good to do that, and uh, hopefully I can find more. Thanks for watching, you guys, and hopefully I'll see you in the next video. Peace.